We are talking about the conversion of decimals, percent, and fractions. The first problem we are doing is one-fourth to a decimal one percent. First, to get a decimal, you would find out if one-fourth can go into 100. It can go in 25 times. The new fraction is 25 hundredths. Then change the fraction to a decimal. Use the numerator and put the, a decimal point in front of it with, with a zero. Your decimal is 0 0.25. Now that you know your decimal, it will be easy to get your percent. Now all you, you have to do is take away the zero and the decimal point and add a percent sign. You will find that your percent is 25%. So you start with a decimal. You would start with making the decimal a percent. You you would do the same thing as before. Drop the zero and the fifth and the point and get fifty percent. Uh, all you have to do is leave. All you need, have to do is is to loop the decimal two times to the right. Now to a fraction, now to a fraction, you you would go back to the decimal and add a add a denominator to make it fifty hundredths. You would simplify the fraction to one half, and that's your fraction. Now you start with a percent. First go to the des first go to the decimal. You would add a zero and a decimal point and drop the percent sign. You would end up with zero, with point twenty. A decimal changing to a fraction is easy. First, you would add one hundred one hundredth to a denominator. You would get fifty hundredths. Simplify that and to. Oh, to twenty hundredths, and and get one fifth. The last one is tricky. Seven eighths in a decimal is when you divide eight into is to eight into seven. You get zero point eight eighty eight zero point eight seven five. The last one is tricky. Seven eighths in a decimal is when you divide eight into seven. You get eight, 0 0.875, that is your decimal. The percent is easy. Just take away the zero and the point and add a percent sign. You get 87.5%. 87 87 That's all. Hope you learned a lot. Peace out.